All right, hi, we're here to do the next week's breakfast exercise. It's Phil and it's... Hannah. Come forward a bit, Hannah. Okay, say your name again. Say again, because that's it. Say again, because I'm talking over the top of you. Say again. Hannah. And where are you from? Bradford. Right, okay. So it's Hannah from Bradford. If you have any doubt as to where she's from, I found simple tests to work it out. Hannah, what's the name of grilled chicken cubes that you buy in any form of Lebanese or Arabic restaurant? She's told Right, there you go. You got her. You see? Immediate notion from Bradford. Any normal... British person speaking English calls it Shishtawuk. She calls it Shishtawuk. Shishtawuk. Right, and she also drinks Carlsberg and drinks cups of tea. So you know she's from Bradford. Okay, right, so um, Hannah, so what we're we going to do first, first week, we're going to be doing maximum number of squats. That's right, maximum number of squats. The reason why we're doing squats, we've chosen squats because we've got you warmed up with some other exercises in terms of your breakfast. You've, you should, you'll be getting, getting fitter. It's now time to focus on the number one most important functional move that you know. It's Hannah's favourite exercise. I trust Hannah in pretty much everything that we do. So if Hannah likes it, I like it as well. It's amazing to do. Why do you like it, Hannah? Because it's great. Okay, that's not really a good reason. That's pathetic. Okay, the reason why squats are good is because it's useful in every single functional movement that you do in the gym. You don't recognise it, but things like your half burpees, you know, your burpees, they all use squat motions, all the different derivations of the squat. When you go running, you're going to build up, you know, the lower body strength. Everything uses squats, okay? Anyone who's good at squats is normally good at other stuff. That's what I found anyway. And if you've got a crap squat, you're normally not very good at other stuff. Okay? So we certainly recommend it, don't we, Hannah? How highly, Hannah? Very highly. Right, why? See? Got her again. Two out of two. And where are you from? Exactly. Right, so this is what we're going to do. In order to do these squats, what we found is that when we ask you to do squats for time, you're going to start racing through them and do shallow squats. So show us the shallow squat, Hannah, first of all, okay? Okay, we don't want to see this, so to avoid the shallow squat problem, you guys have to find something at home that is the height of this hurdle. We understand you don't have these hurdles around hanging around your house, but we want you to find it. So you might be turning a chair on its side using the legs, you might have a bench this high, you might have a chasse long. <laughs> what? Did I ask you? I was doing a piece to camera, you were supposed to just stand there. You're butting in around the side. Okay, so this is 30 centimetres, as we've established. Thank you, Hannah. So basically, you need to find something around the face. So you could put cushions on top of each other, anything like that, okay? So you find your hurdle, step this way, come forward a little bit, so in the middle of the shot. Okay, right, now, that's your height measure. Every single one has to go down to that height. We're going to show you a good squat now. Okay, let's go. Squat, stop. Okay, but height of the knees. Very important. We don't want you to go shallow. It means that you're not you're burning enough calories. Second point that's very good. Her knees are not over her toes. They're in line or even slightly behind. Okay, that means all the weight is in her heels. I hope you're following all of these things. Okay, but height of knees, weight in the heels, knees not over toes. Last thing, chest proud. She's not collapsed. Collapse yourself. She's not collapsed. Okay, she's got her pr chest proud, standing up. Now let's show us a couple of squats. That's two, not three. One, two. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to hand you over to Hannah to explain what the ex what the breakfast exercise actually are. Hannah, do I step forward? For beginners, it's five minutes maximum number of squats, and for advanced, it's ten minutes maximum number of squats. Okay, good. So that's uh, all we've got now from Phil and Hannah. And um, last thing remains, we wish you very best of luck. So I'd like to uh, wish you good luck, and Hannah would like to wish you good luck. Okay.